Um, tip of the cap to South Carolina. They, they totally outplayed us in every facet today. Uh, they swung the bats very well. Um, you know, they, they completely shut us down offensively. Um, you know, Mahoney pitched well, but Hicks out of the bullpen, I thought, was really the one of the players in the game for them. He just uh, good running fastball, and just we had no answers for him. And I thought we made a lot of soft contact with less than two strikes uh, and just really, really couldn't get any momentum going offensively. So, uh, you know, uh, not much to say other than they, they straight up straight up beat us. And uh, not going to make excuses about it. We're just going to get better. Uh, you know, it sucks. We losing. Um, but, you know, they outplayed us and outcoached us and they were, they were the better team today. They, no question about it from anyone that was watching and um, you know, we just need to find a way to be much more competitive than that. That's the bottom line. So we, uh, so yeah, we look. We're never going to make excuses about injuries. Nobody cares about your injuries, and we we can overcome some injuries. That's not, that's not the issue. And we we put up plenty of runs yesterday, and that was we really shot our shot yesterday to try to clinch the series then and um, you know it didn't work out for us in the end yesterday but I thought coming in here today we would have a better response uh, but it just um, you know didn't have answers for him we knew it was going to have a be one of those days where we would use a lot of guys uh, in short stints and we, would, we were hoping that you know having a different guy go out there every time through the order would would hold him down but it didn't they, they teed off on some balls they got some really good swings off obviously the Three home runs, but even the even the outs were loud. You know, balls, multiple balls hit to the fence. Um, so they, they were just on the barrel all day. And you know, credit to their offense, they really really you know, did some damage, and we did it. How much not having Bryce hurt you pitching wise, or maybe if you if he was going to play in the field? Uh, we could have used him on the mound today for sure, um, but you know, that's, that's no excuse. Um, uh, it's, it, you know. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll use him as a pitcher moving forward, but um, you know that wasn't that had nothing to do with anything offensively, and had nothing to do with uh, our ability to uh, you know to to get ahead of hitters today. They got they took some big hacks when they were ahead in the count, and I thought that was so good. Offenses do they they get an advantage counts and they, they let it rip, and they they took some rips and. Conversely, for us, we were in less than two strike counts and made some weak, you know, just just didn't have that that same thump in the bat. And that's one thing we'll work on this week is uh, being uh, a lot more uh, a lot more aggressive on balls to smash with less than two count, uh, less than two strikes. And that's part of our offensive philosophy. Anyways, we just were facing some really good pitching today. Uh, you know, I thought I thought Hicks was, you know, that fastball. The way it was running, when when compared with the slider, and he just was on. He's really good. So um, he had our number today. He's to the cap for that. Is Christ just out the one game? I don't know. We'll see. I, I we don't we don't condone the, that type of behavior and tell our guys. We've said it from day one. This is part of the neck up stuff. We're not that bad that we need every call from the umpire. So that we'll address that internally with the team. I don't know what the answer to that question is, but. Um, I do not like our body language on calls that don't go our way um, from the umpire and crew, and that's something we'll improve on. Yeah, I think you've kind of already addressed some of that. What's the most positive things you've seen this many games in, and what things are most concerning? Well, you know, there's just bright spots, and there's you know, there's good and bad in every game. You know, um, so um, you know, they're. You know, finding the bright spots in a game like today, you know, maybe a little bit harder to do. I uh, love the tempo that Casey Talent pitched with, but I think we have some, some, you know, some guys that we can definitely count on on the mound. I mean, Austin Gordon and Tristan Smith, the way they pitched this weekend as starters without Ryan Ammons um, uh, available for a couple weeks, I, they, they, you know, they gave us the type of starts to, to help us win games. The way Casey Talent and Jackson Lindley pitched. Uh, you know, for the most part today, but especially on Friday, uh, those guys, you know, those guys have been, you know, very, very good bullpen weapons for us as well. 
Um, you know, it's just it's finding the other pieces in the bullpen that this is part of the figuring it out process early on, and, and we will. You know, I, I firmly believe that if we played yesterday's game a month from now, we find a way to, to, to close that down in the late innings. I think we would. Um, so we're, we're figuring it out as coaches, and, um, you know, this is this as much as it, as it sucks to, you know, really not be playing our best baseball and, and lose a big rivalry weekend like this and uh, drop the games we dropped last week. Uh, it's going to make us better. It's going to callous our mind and build that resiliency so that as we get into the games moving forward, especially ACC play, you know, we'll have a much better chip on our shoulder. We'll be much more competitive and we'll have some things figured out with some roles. Roles are always changing. They're always evolving. And it's on us as coaches to put our guys in the right spots to have success for the team. Despite the outcome for the weekend as the first time head coach in this series, what did you think of the weekend and the way this rivalry was? It's exactly out? as I remember it, and it's exactly you know up to its billing uh, as the best rivalry in college baseball. And uh, it was awesome on Friday. It was awesome atmosphere yesterday. It was awesome atmosphere today. I mean, this is this is why you go to Clemson. It's why their players go to South Carolina. It's why kids who want the biggest stage and the brightest lights. It's why they pick these two schools because you just. You know, it's hard to find this type of intensity and atmosphere anywhere else, and it's awesome. Eric, what are your thoughts on South Carolina just seeing them up kind of close in person? I think they're a very good team. I, I don't see any reason why they, they they can't do very well in the SEC and make a deep run. They, they're very, they got excellent starting pitching. Um, you know, the, the, I don't know how to pronounce the kid's name. They, they pitched in relief on Friday, but I thought his breaking ball, uh, Jerzen Becker, uh, yeah. apologies for mispronouncing that but I thought he was I thought he was excellent I thought the Hicks kid tonight was excellent um, and then obviously their offense um, you know they definitely have a plan to get you know to lift the ball and get the head out and get in good counts and get their best swing off and you know they did that in the final three innings yesterday and they did that all day today so uh, that really worked out for them and that's what's disappointing is uh, that we didn't have those answers especially the last three innings yesterday and then throughout the game today, but it's good offense, and I think that's, you know, that's a team that with their starting pitching, with their key bullpen arms, the three guys who threw in the relief yesterday were good too, uh, plus their offense. Um, yeah, it's a good team. There's no reason uh, why they can't make a deep run. Yeah, he's still not 100%. He's still making his way back, so we were hoping he could give us two, and, and he did, and uh, it's just good to see him back out there, but you know he's he's not he's not all the way back there. Is he a guy you plan on using most in the game this year? Well, he you know he started last year, started plenty of games, and in the fall he was up to 95, 96, and um, you know came back um, you know with a little bit of shoulder discomfort after Christmas break, and so we're still trying to figure out exactly you know what what's going on there, but um, we'll 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 get. We'll get our, we'll get our finger on it, and figure it out, and get him back to healthy. Because when he's 100%, he's he's a true weapon. He's got a good fat, good turbo sinking fastball and a good slider, and yeah, he's a, he's a very good pitcher. So uh, we definitely would have liked to have used him more than we have these first three weeks. So it'll be good to get him back. Hey, I'm gonna talk about him some earlier this week. The way he played. Yeah, Cam, Cam has been, you know, he's, this is. Cam's been doing this since the fall, since the preseason. He's very consistent. Maybe, you know, maybe our most consistent performer. Um, just has a knack to, to put the barrel on the ball. Uh, he's a tremendous athlete. Coach Bellinger says he's one of the toughest players on our team to call pitches against in our inner squads. And we've seen that so far these first three weeks as well. He just, he finds a way to hit the ball hard. He just, and I think that has a lot to do with just the strength he has from the neck up. He is just, he is, uh, he is poised. It is not moving fast for him. He's got a slow heartbeat for the game. The moment never seems too big. He doesn't seem rattled. You know, we just, we define mental toughness as the ability to stay in the middle, to stay neutral, to stay centered, and he does that as well as anyone. And it's especially impressive to be able to do that as a freshman. Thank you, guys.